Show that. What's your name? Stop. Hey, bud. This is Vic, Boopy's cousin, feel me, blood cousin. That's my, that's my blood. That's my, that's my man, for real. Terrell's Nami. And I'm Terrell's aunt, Amy. And he had the heart of gold. He would do anything for anybody. My little nephew, Terrell. Obviously, I've known him since he was born. Spent lots and lots of time with him down at his house. He came to our house all the time. He used to go camping with us. Terrell was my older cousin. We spent a lot of time together since we were young, little kids or whatever. Me and Terrell were really close for since we were young. I've known Terrell since I was a young kid. He's always been one of my closest friends. Hi, my name is Hannah. I'm one of Terrell's closest friends. He was never really like a friend to me. He was always more like a brother. I met Terrell when I was in kindergarten. You know, known each other this whole our whole lives. We've watched each other grow up. The way I found out about T Star is through Victor. I was coming outside my grandma's and he seen me. I was like, Oh, I see you chill with my cousin Victor and I make sure he don't be down the block. I'm like I got you, bro, I got you. I'm Denise and I met Terrell when we were really young. We had to be the first or second grade. Literally loved him. Like when we were little, he was like my bestie. I wasn't as close with T Star, but you know we did play football together. He was a great friend. That's what I heard. He was funny. You know he really loved the kids. He loved supporting people. I first met Terrell when I don't even know how old. We were young, and uh, when Victor introduced us, he he had his big head with his big glasses. And, you know, it was like right off the bat, we clicked. Cute little guy. Always feisty. Never scared of anything. Always, always, always. Wanted to know if his cousin, Baby Victor, was coming to his house. He would love to feed him his bottle and hold him all the time. Always wanted to look out for him. We spent day after day just playing wiffle ball, baseball, just always being outside and playing any sport, really. I remember back, back when we was jits, back in, back in my days, feel me? Yeah, we would be playing baseball together, playing all types of sports, football, baseball, basketball, you name it, bro. Very good at sports, you know, he's always been into that type of stuff. Oh my God, you're an amazing baseball player. Terrell was especially cute because he had these sports goggles that he wore when he played sports. They were just the cutest thing. <laughs> good player too. Very good player. Very athletic. Growing up, we was always always like this. You feel me? That was my geyser. And I didn't find out until after he died how much he really like looked out for his family and his cousins, especially Victor, my son. His cousins, he would be on it, on it, on it, like, he was pushing us, pushing us, pushing us. He never let us down, ever. Terrell was always there if we needed anything. He was kind of like always the older brother that I never had. I mean, he was always looking out for me. I was little cousin to him, you know? Apparently, he caught him at a party one time after he snuck out of the house <laughs> and really pressed him. He saw me at the party, he's like, what you doing here? What you doing here? Do you know what be going on at parties? Do your mom know about this? You snuck out? I should tell your mom? Nah, I ain't gonna do that. I, I wanna see you doing nothing stupid. Word two. You gonna sit your ass right there. You feel me? I was like, bro, why are you doing this right here? Like, he's bugging on me. 
bug it out of me. But you feel me? That's big cuz. Always looking out for me. You know that. Always. The last time I seen Terrell, he came to protect his favorite cousin, Nat. When she was hanging around with a bad person, he came to my house and put her in place and then they became more best cousins. And he made her to be a better person than she is today. And if it wasn't for Jarrell, I don't know where she would be at. And Jack, oh, the phone calls she used to give Jack. Mm -hmm. huh? I take Terrell, my drone. Exactly. <laughs> Terrell, just step back. Yeah. Terrell was a great role model to a lot of people. Me and him both attended criminal justice. He really pushed me to graduate. Unfortunately, he wasn't there to graduate with me, but I did it for him. He always told me, you're gonna graduate, you're gonna get a good job, you're gonna be successful. And I will do that for him, I will make him proud. I didn't realize that he was going to the military. Yeah, he's gonna go in the army. Your life was taken way too short. But you way got that diploma, short. you got your mm -hmm. diploma, bud. And it hangs in your room. Yep. I did move your room up. And you still, still there. teddy bears. And a lot of nights I have to cut up to that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some nights more than never. Mm -hmm. I need that. He was always somebody that I could depend on being there and cared for me. Terrell would always be there for me. I never doubted that. Boy definitely didn't want us down block at all. Want us all the way up there by stewards and shit. T Star is a good ass person. Definitely loved the kids. Definitely loved his family. Terrell played a big impact in the whole family's life. He really pulled the family together. He was a real kind hearted of person. He always looked out for the best in anyone. He um, loves old people too. That's one thing I can say. Like He loves kids too. He just loves people. He's a good people person. He always just wanted the best for him and his family. And he just wanted little kids to be safe, not get into trouble. When I left for college, he was one of the only people to check up on me. And I literally have messages of him you better stay in contact with me, you better never forget me. And he literally used to call me like every day when I was in school and to just check up on me and make sure everything was good. He'd do anything for anyone that he cared about. I've always seen that in him. Every time I've seen him around, you know, I always heard stories about him just inspiring people to do better, motivating everybody to do better, all his friends, his family. Anybody he was cool with. He had that way to inspire people. Yeah. Yeah. A little knack of it. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He knew what words to use and yeah. he had knowledge, a lot of knowledge. Yeah. And Mariah tells me, remember what Trout said? Don't yell at me. You have to talk to me. <laughs> he still remembers that. Yeah, yeah. Don't yell, Nani. <laughs> he was just such a good person. Like that's that's pretty much all I can say. There's nothing bad I would say about him. And people just label him as like a street kid, and he was way more than that. Before he got into the streets, he was playing sports. He was going out, doing adventures, going outside, doing mad shit with his friends. And then something happened in his life, and it wasn't his choice. He just needed to do what was best for him. So I just don't like when people label him like a street kid. It's not what he is, because he's a real good person. He had so much to give, so much to give to other people and help them out. Remember one day you saw a little boy walking down the street, 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> Don't get in this car, I'm taking you home. You should not be out on the streets at this time of night. Mm -hmm. And he did, he took him right home. Mm -hmm. Just like after football practice, he always made sure somebody had a ride. If he didn't have a ride, he gave him a ride home. Mm -hmm. you know, he had his own great deal of things going on, but that didn't stop him from doing what he wanted to do, you know? He always used to be like the first person I called with everything. Like if I had a little inconvenience in my life, anything was happening, going wrong, I always would call him. Like in high school or college, I would call him like, oh my God, Terrell, like this girl did this, this boy did this. Always called him, always telling him everything. He was literally like my favorite person to FaceTime. Me and him used to gossip about everybody. Oh my God, he was my favorite person to talk with. We really spent a lot of time together. Like, he used to call me at 
10, 11 p.m. Can you come pick me up? Can you come pick me and my friends up? I would always go get them. Or can you call me late? Can you come pick me up from this party? Whatever. Terrell loved to party. Like that was his favorite thing to do is go to parties, hang out with his friends. He was always the life of the party. He went to a party and I was DD and I literally had to drag him out of the party. I was like, Terrell, no, like, it is time to go. We are going home. But he just wanted to stay the whole time. If I didn't drive him to every party, I would always meet up with him there. Not one party did I, was I not with Terrell. On the field, he definitely was a cool person. <laughs> like, I remember we were just, what, doing push-ups. Everybody hurting, everybody doing a push-up. Terrell over here just humping the floor. Everybody starts laughing at him, which makes him run around one or two times. <laughs> How he used to dance and sing. He always thought he could sing. Nobody <laughs> wanted to tell him any different. <laughs> and his hair. His hair had that his perfect little curls in it. It would take him two hours to do his hair in the morning and brush his teeth. Mm -hmm. When he found out I was having a baby, he was like mad. He was like, no, like, why are you doing this? But then when I was like, well, I want to keep her or him. Da, 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 da. And he was like, well, if it's a boy, you have to name it to Rob. And I was like, okay. And then he was like, if it's a girl, I'll get her her first pair of Tim's and Air Forces. You know, I'm going to spoil her. Da, 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 da. And I was just like happy, whatever, because he was finally okay with it. And this other time, Lil Rel had this Louis Vuitton belt. Victor wanted it so bad. He wanted to be like his cousin Terrell, his big cousin Terrell. So he had his first job down at Oakdale Playground and he got his first paycheck. So he kept nagging and nagging and nagging Lil Rel. Wanted to buy this belt from him. After my son Victor gets the belt, he tells me he spent $150 on it. I was so mad. I called Lil Rel and he was like, hey Christina, he just kept bugging me and bugging me and bugging me for the belt. And then I found out it was my son and his persistence wanting to get the belt, but I was so mad he spent all that money from his first paycheck on that belt. But let me tell you, he cherished it because he knew it was Lil Rel's. And even here on out, everything he has that was Terrell's, he cherishes. And Kite's Nest, you make them so proud. Mm -hmm. We all have pictures of you. You inspired yes. young kids' lives that yes. we didn't even know about. It's crazy. We have pictures of you cooking. Yeah. We didn't know you could cook. We Nana did all your cooking. What the heck? Oh, he sometimes he would help. Me. Oh, okay. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> we would cook together. Remember, and his oils that he made. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yep. We all I, have that. I said I finally figured out what you always were talking about now. Mm -hmm. Every day of senior year. He literally would like wait at my car for me for lunch. We'd go to McDonald's or go to Dunkin' Donuts. And we'd be with Denise. When I got cheated on, um, I didn't go to school that day. I was so sad, like my heart was broken. And um, the day after, me, him, and our friend Hannah went and got Dunkin' Donuts and talked and like laughed and like they both just made me feel so much better about everything. And your Uncle Ray remembers last time he'd seen you, he had the greatest talk, he cried, and said, you just want to make your nanny proud. And I was proud of you. We were. You always made me proud. Really proud of you. <clears throat> you never ever disappointed us. Ever, ever. And I cherish those last words you said to me. Nani, you're the best, and I love you more than anything. He was a great person. And I wish a lot of other people realized that and saw that in him. I'm glad I got the bitter memories that I did with T-Star, honestly. I didn't grow up with him, but we spoke from time to time. We knew of each other, played football together, and that was fun. Top shot out here. When he was taken, puts in change forever. That's my dog for real. I miss him. I ain't gonna lie. He was a great person, and I miss him so much. Terrell, we miss you. I'll always love him, and I'll never ever forget him and everything that he's done for me. We all definitely miss you, T-Star. You're a great person. Everybody loved you. 
He had great energy, man. Great energy. I think that Terrell would want to be remembered as a outstanding, young, handsome black king. And that's what I will remember him as. And I love you, Terrell. No, no, loves you. We love you. I miss you, bud. I miss you. I know you're always going to be in our hearts and you're always here with us. I can feel you here. You always tell me, don't worry about me, Nani. You know I'll always be here. You're here in my heart. You're always in my heart. Always. We'll see you again one day. Don't worry. Yeah. We will. We'll all be together one day. We all love you and miss you. Miss you so much. Definitely changed us when you left. I always still feel you.